Hi, I'm Michael. Uh, this is To Be Entertained. I am uh, going to go into H Mart here because fishing in New Jersey is difficult in the winter. So uh, we're going to show you what we can get a hold of in an age mark. All right, folks. So we're in H Mart um, because you can't catch much fish in New Jersey uh, at the moment, considering it's winter. We have a uh, wild caught crawfish here. We've got uh, short neck clams. We have uh, some mussels here. Uh, and then all of the, the pre-made soups and everything. Uh, you're not gonna be catching much fish here. Uh, but we'll show you some fish later on. Uh, you've got sea squirts, you've got uh, breaded shrimp, uh, and, and you've got abalone. As we move along here, we'll uh, check out some of the other things here. Uh, unfortunately, not sure if I'm going to be able to cast into some of the waters that we're going to be looking at. Uh, you have conch shells, you have, uh, you have whelk as well. Um, you've got some mackerel that's frozen. You also have Squid, you've got cuttlefish, which I've never even seen before in a market, as well as fresh squid. Excellent fishing bait, by the way. Small octopus. Large octopus. And uh, some headless shrimp. You also have some tiger shrimp, wild white shrimp, um, as well as these seem like uh, small king mackerel, Dungeness crab. Got an excellent selection of uh, pompano, uh, other fish species, carp, it seems. Now, here you've got king crab, beautiful beautiful animals they are gorgeous look at the legs on these things look at the claws on them they are amazing like just gigantic beautiful beautiful fish now here you have dungeness crab um, this this meat is very sweet very tender just amazing, amazing food. Um, these guys are obviously very healthy, very clean. You do not want to stick your hand in this if you can avoid it, uh, <laughs> because they will snap your finger pretty, pretty easily. Um, we've got cockles over here. You have uh, many different types of shellfish throughout this market. Uh, abalone, delicious. All right. Moving into the fresh seafood. Porgy, never caught them before, but they're here. Uh, beltfish, huge, long, long tails on them. You see, these guys are long, they're very bony though. Uh, typically, you do not want 
to eat these, but if you love them, I suppose that's perfectly fine. Um, Butterfish, not very familiar with, but they are similar to pompano in their shape, size, the species is typically very similar. M mullet, I wouldn't recommend eating, but you can use them as bait for fishing. It's a uh, very effective bait uh, off the, the gulf. Whiting, same thing. Great bait. Not great for eating. Fresh catfish, obviously excellent food. Uh, fried catfish is amazing. Catfish is fantastic. However, when you handle a catfish, you need to avoid this. That has a spine in it that can, that can cut you very easily, but it's easy to handle if you know how to handle it. Pompano. Now, a pompano, great fish to eat easy to handle. You don't have to worry about handling these fish as you would handling a catfish, right? Same thing with these small silver pompano. Easy to handle. No worries about cutting your hand or anything like that. Now, these are steaks of king mackerel. King mackerel is great, especially if you smoke it. Smoked king mackerel is fantastic. Some people call them kingfish. In the south, we call them king mackerel. Bronzini, these are sea bass. They're in the bass family. Same, uh, they're all persiform fish. So in the uh, yellow perch and white perch family, um, these are all very easy to handle. I would prefer not to handle stuff that uh, other people are trying to buy. Um, snapper, so. Red snapper are very, very common in all waters in the Atlantic and in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm not going to lift one of these, but their meat is very tender. It's uh, not particularly flaky. It's great. Hybrid bass. Now, these guys uh, these guys are in most uh, rivers that come from coastal waters. Now, in, uh, in Alabama, or in Georgia, rather, on the border of Alabama, these things are very, very prominent behind the dam of, say, Fort Gaines, Georgia. So there's a dam down there and you can catch massive ones, m many pounds larger than these. Uh, they fight like hell. They're great fish to eat. They're a fantastic sport fish. So I would highly recommend uh, chasing these guys uh, if you want a fight that you'll never forget. And these are Spanish mackerel. So um, if you've ever fished off a dock in, in Florida on the Gulf Coast, you're going to get Spanish mackerel. Uh, they are fantastic fighting fish. They taste really great while smoked or grilled. Um, not as good as king mackerel, but they're 
they're very good fish and they're fun to fight. Fluke, never caught a fluke before. Similar to flounder. You can see that they have eyes on the top of their heads here, uh, just like a flounder would. They're bottom laying fish. They are ambush predators. And if you want to catch them, it's going to be shrimp or squid. That's the bait you're going to want to use. Black sea bass. These are actually not in the bass family. They're in the drum family. So like black drum and red drum. Uh, in the south, we call red drum redfish. But uh, these are in that family. The meat is great. They are a little bony, but they're good. And now, obviously, you have squid. Now, we would typically use squid as bait rather than eating them, but I, I have eaten squid and I enjoy it. Tilapia. So, these are farm raised. These guys are fat, like fatter than what you would expect in the wild by a large margin. Like, like look how thick this guy is. He's a fat guy, right? You wouldn't see that. You would see much thinner fish. This guy's falling out, so back in there um, okay so um, these are the same that we've seen before snapper pomfret and hybrid striped bass bronzini we've seen rainbow trout okay so with rainbow trout the reason that these are expensive is because the, so these are farm raised however rainbow trout's meat is is very sweet in the wild you don't get so much of that sweetness but you, you also don't see a lot of farm-raised rainbow trout. Barramundi, these are from, uh, these are typically from South America. You really just don't see a lot of these in, in typical American markets. Uh, parrotfish either. However, these do not look like the parrotfish that I, that I typically see in say South Florida or uh, or in the Everglades because those are invasive down there. Now salmon, everyone knows salmon, right? We've got plenty of salmon steaks and fillets. Chilean sea bass, I obviously haven't caught these because I don't typically go to Chile. Uh, I have never been to Chile. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this is a uh, common price for these, I would say. Uh, skates. So mm -hmm. these are similar to stingrays, right? Uh, I've stepped on one before on accident while fishing in the surf. Uh, freaked me out because I thought it was a stingray, but it's not. They do not have stingers. They're similar to stingrays, but without that. Now, these are small yellowtails. Very small. Um, these are very meaty, bloody fish. Right? So when you're cleaning them, you really need to do fillets on these, right? Instead of, instead of cutting the head off at an angle and stripping scales, you want to fillet these. You do not want to, to actually 
fry the fish whole. It's just, it's too bloody. Um, these are milkfish. I'm unfamiliar with these, but there are tons of scales on these. So it's going to take a lot of work to scrape off all of those scales. And to be honest, I feel like this would be a very bony fish, even though I'm unfamiliar with, with eating these. Uh, croakers, they're trash fish. You, you typically wouldn't want to eat these, but some people do, and we're at H Martin, so, you know, uh, maybe some people really enjoy these. Uh, these are red perch, also we would call them big eye snaps. Um, they're small, they obviously got big eyes on them very very bony fish now white perch we catch a lot of these in new jersey these are actually really decent size white perch i've caught a few that were bigger than this but not very many um these guys are hefty like it, like this is uh, this is a very very thick white perch like very thick like it, like heavier than you would and you would typically think a white perch would be um i'm not familiar with these it says dabs i i'm entirely unfamiliar with with dabs but they are they do seem like flounders you know you see you have two eyes on top of the head probably excellent for filet. Scallops, everyone knows scallops. These are tilapia filets. Shark is great. Um, cod is an extremely common food source for pretty much everyone in the Pacific and Atlantic Northeast. Halibut, excellent. Excellent fish. 100% eat halibut if you haven't. Tuna, everyone's eating tuna. And these are king mackerel steaks. Um, king mackerel is, is great, especially if smoked, as I said earlier. Uh, mahi mahi, not seeing much in here, but mahi mahi, also called dolphin, is uh, a great sport fish. Caught many of them. Um, and so, yeah, so we've got tons and tons of fish here that we can talk about, as well as uh, shellfish. So uh, I think what we, what we want to ask is where do you, where are you sourcing the fish from? Yeah. Yeah. From China. Okay, so these are these are tilapia. Oh, okay. So they're okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, do you sell a lot of tilapia? Do you? Uh, are there a lot of tilapia sold in here? Yeah. What's the most popular? Oh, uh, the, uh, these. Are the most popular fish? Yeah, they're, they're popular. Okay. So it, these are shipped in, and uh, and you you put them here. What about the the Spanish mackerel? Uh, are these locally sourced? Or? No. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Um. Uh, are any of the fish local? Huh? Are any of them local? Any of, any of the fish? Uh, any of the fish? Are they local? Like like from New Jersey? From New Jersey? No, no, none of them. Okay, they're all from here. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, New York. Okay. Well, that's local enough. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where they came from. Yeah, I got you. All right. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah, big company. Yeah. yeah, we just wanted to come in here and take a look at the fish and uh, yeah, and 
interview people if we could. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. That's a wrap up of H Mart, guys. Uh, that's a wrap up of H Mart. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate all of the, the views. Uh, fantastic place if you want to see fish that are. available in New Jersey. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and, uh, and have a great day. Oh, and roll tide. To be entertained. Yeah, yeah, so the letter or the number two and then B-E and then entertain. Okay, yeah, thank you. Hey, thanks, man.